Hi, it's me, Miss Maranatha. How are you? I have some things to show you today. Are you ready to get started? I'm gonna ring this bell. At school, I always ring this bell before we start our class meeting or our community meeting. It's a way to remind everybody to take a deep breath, to turn their ears on, to turn their brain on, and to really get ready, okay? So here we go. Okay, it's time. Let me read our board over here. Look, I have a pointer. What is that? It's a rainbow. I like rainbows. Do you like rainbows? Yeah. I'm gonna use it to point at the words on this board while I read them, okay? It says, hola, hello, hola. Today, we will explore opposites. Hmm, what are opposites? We're gonna find out. Have a great day. Okay, let's have a great day. Opposites, hmm. I have something, before I show you this, we're going to say hello and do it in, in different ways that are opposite, okay? Are you ready? So we go like this. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. That was slow, huh? Slow is the opposite of fast. Hello. And hello. Let's do another one. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hi. Hello. Low. Hello. <laughs> Those are opposites too. Okay, I have another one. Are you ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello. That was so loud. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Did you hear that? I was very loud. Those are opposites too. I also have a friend. Do you remember my friend Brontosaurus? Yeah? <laughs> he says hi. Hi Brontosaurus. I wanted to show you Brontosaurus because Brontosaurus is a big dinosaur with a long neck, right? He's a big dinosaur. But look, I have a friend. Oh, I'm sitting on him. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I'm sorry. Look, it's little Brontosaurus. Big Brontosaurus. Little Brontosaurus. Do you see that? Big, little. Big, little. That's opposite. Thank you, Brontosaurus. You want to sit over here? I'm going to do something else with our friends. Oh, I knocked him over. Here you go. You good? All right. Hey, we're going to do something with our hands. Can I see your hands? I see them. Okay, ready? This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Those are opposites too. You wanna to do it again? Okay, show me your hands. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. <laughs> This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. 
This is no, no, no. <laughs> nice work, everybody. All right, I have one more thing to share with you. This is a book. It's called Animal Opposites, a pop-up book. Have you ever looked at a pop-up book? That means everything pops. <laughs> it is so much fun. This is by Peter Horacek. That is the author and illustrator. That means that Peter Horacek wrote the words and did the illustrations. Maybe he decided, mm, I want a pop-up book. Nice. I'm glad he did because they're fun. Okay, you ready? Animal opposites. We should look at the cover first, huh? Do you know what this animal is? It's a hippo. His mouth is really open wide. He's gonna eat the butterfly? Say, don't eat the butterfly, hippo. I sure hope not. Oh, this one's a meerkat. A meerkat. And this is a cheetah. Cheetahs are very fast. Very fast. Okay, you ready? Let's read it. All right, here we go. Short dog. It's very short. A short dog. He's got short legs. You see that? Short legs. What does a dog say? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> short dog. What's this one gonna be? Whoa, tall giraffe. Look, his neck is long, just like our friend Brontosaurus. Do you see that? <gasps> Do you know why? Do you remember Brontosaurus has a long neck so that he can reach the tall trees? Trees are tall and the leaves are up here and he can eat them. He's an herbivore, right? He eats vegetables. So is a giraffe. A giraffe is an herbivore and has this long neck so that the giraffe can eat those leaves too, just like Brontosaurus. They're both tall so they can eat out of tall trees. It's amazing. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Oh, what is that? It's a rabbit. It's a very quiet rabbit. But do you know what rabbits do? Watch my nose. <laughs> they do. Their little nose moves like that, but they're very quiet. They're very quiet. It's true. Okay, I wonder what's over here. Something loud. If the rabbit is quiet, Something loud is behind this piece of paper. I wonder what it's gonna be. You ready? Roar! It was a loud lion. <laughs> Very loud. Should we do our lion breath? Remember I taught you the other day. Put your claws out like this, right? You breathe in. <sighs> That was the lion breath. <laughs> All right, what else is there? Oh, a fat pig. Can you do a pig noise? Some people go oink, 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 and other people go <laughs> Which one do you do? <laughs> and that is a thin meerkat. Look, he's very skinny and thin. Fat pig, thin meerkat. They live in tunnels under the ground, meerkats do. And they stand up like that. They look around, they do. They also like to play. Hmm. Ooh, this is a sloth. It's very still. Does it move very much? If it moves, it moves very slowly. So let's pretend we're a sloth, okay? So that means we're gonna be like an ice cube or like we're frozen, okay? He is hanging from a tree. Should we pretend to hang from a tree? There's the branch and now just hold it. Don't move. That's like a sloth. They're very still. I wonder what's behind this flap. Are you ready? Here we go. Boing, boing, boing. It's a bouncy kangaroo. Can you stand up and bounce like a kangaroo? Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, here's the hippo from the front of the book, remember? The hippo. This hippo is very big and heavy. It weighs so much. It is so heavy. It's a heavy hippo. So let's look under here. It's gonna be something little and that doesn't weigh very much. It's gonna be light. Let's see what it is. <gasps> Ooh, it's a butterfly. Do you see it? Butterflies are not heavy. They're very, very light. My friend Sergio today, he taught me how to hold my hand like this to be a butterfly. Can you all do that? Yeah. Oh, butterflies. They're light. They are not heavy. Okay. It's a frog. It's a smooth frog. Very smooth. Not bumpy. Hmm. Let's see what's under here. Ah, it's a spiky porcupine. Ouch. Careful. That one's smooth. This one's spiky. Smooth, spiky, ouch. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Let me see that. It's a snail. Slow, slow snail. Oh, I see a tail over here. I wonder who it belongs to. Are you ready? Whoosh, a fast cheetah. Whoosh. <laughs> You could run like a cheetah, huh, and go really fast. Or remember how I showed you fast, 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 and slow, slow, slow. Yeah, that's the snail is, sl is slow and the cheetah is so fast. Here's a little bitty mouse. It says this little mouse is weak. It's not very strong. However, look at that gorilla. That is a strong gorilla. The muscles in that gorilla are so strong. Ugh. Can you show me your muscles? Ugh. Oh, I see all those muscles. Wow, you all are very strong. Okay. Oh, it's a goose. It's a white goose. This is a peacock. It's a colorful peacock. This is a white goose and a colorful peacock. It has lots of colors. Kind of like my rainbow. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the last page. You ready? It's a small ladybug. It's so little. Have you ever held a ladybug? I have. You have to be very gentle though, because they're so small, they can get hurt easy. So you hold them very, very gently. Let them crawl on you, and then you gently let them go again. Yeah, they're so little, we gotta take care of them. Are you ready to see what this last page is? It's very, very big. It's a big elephant. A small ladybug, see how little it is? And look how big this elephant is. Oh my goodness. Can you stomp your feet like an elephant? Boom, 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 boom. They make big stomps because they're such big animals. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> All right, so we went over opposites. So I'm gonna ask you a question. What is the opposite of fast? Slow. Fast. Slow. What is the opposite of big? Little. Big? Little. Hmm, what else? Hmm, what else did we do? Oh, I remember. What's the opposite of loud? Quiet. Oh, you all are good at opposites. Nice job. All right, I'll see you again later. Have a great evening. Mwah.